With her curly brown hair and turned up nose, a more angelic child you couldn't suppose. Harriet had everything and ought to be content, but she remained grumpy, of that she was intent. Her irrational behavior drove everyone nuts, and so she was known as Misery Guts. Now, a moody child may not seem uncharacteristic or unique, but to find another like Harriet was difficult to seek. For when she was distressed, she spiraled out of control. She would sink through the ground as if down a hole. Harriet would find misery in the simplest defeat. She'd become engulfed in a mood she just could not beat. Harriet's struggles went unnoticed, frustrations left to mound. Her father seemed oblivious, something Harriet quite often found. She was overcome with emotions, distraught and mortified. The ground on which she stood swallowed her deep inside. Her parents doted on her, but hard as they tried, their affections were rejected, abruptly pushed aside. For Harriet felt misunderstood, and that niggled her to the core. If only they realized they would bother her no more. Harriet's loving mother found herself deep in despair. She had reached her limit, Harriet's moods too much to bear. As Harriet stood rejected, alone and feeling down, she saw a deflated balloon that mirrored her own frown. There began a connection that grew between the two. They shared something in common. Her misery now was through. 